All right, shalom, shalom, I'm Akim. First and foremost, I give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father. And it's going to be at the sun, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Karkadash. Double honor to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who will well and taught me this truth according to the Bible. And shalom to the brothers out there that the full cleanse earth, pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother Kazaba from GMS Raleigh, North Carolina, come back with another quick lesson through the Spirit Empire, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. And uh, this lesson is basically going to be entitled to you two thirds of the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are going to be destroyed ultimately because what you hate the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, you know, you hate these words that you know, brothers are speaking that the four corners of the earth, which is the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai, and because you hate them, you know, and don't want to uh, fear Yahweh Bashim Shai, it's going to cause your death and destruction. Okay, you know, our people have no fear of Yahweh Bashim Shai whatsoever. All right, and so you know, the first scripture I want to get off uh, and get with is a uh, book of um Proverbs one, I start verse twenty. It says, "Wisdom crieth without; she uttered her voice in the streets." Now we know, according to Job twenty and twenty eight, you can go get that. All right, y'all can you know y'all stay up on that. It says what that the fear of the Lord that is wisdom. Okay, you know, so you got wisdom, which is also the fear of the Lord. Okay, is being what. Crying out in the streets, what? So the men of the Lord who are out there on the highways and byways preaching his words to say and truth, starting off on apostles and elders, a great millstone to the men on down. All right. These are the men that are preaching the fear of Yahweh by Shimei on Shai. Okay. Because it's very important, as we get later, Lord's will, of what, why the fear of the Lord is actually that important. Okay. And why that you need it. All right. Because if you don't have it, you're going to suffer death and destruction. Okay. It says, uh, Verse 21, she cried from the chief place of concourse, what, in the downtown cities where all the shopping and, you know, the entertainment and, you know, just, you know, follies going on. That's exactly where you're going to find the men of the Lord preaching that, that wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? All right, it says in the chief place of the concourse, in the openings of the gates, you know, where it says when, in the gates you're going to find your leaders, man, okay, the leaders of the people, so to speak, Okay. It says, in the city, she uttered her words, saying, how how long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? How long will you niggas will love to be a nigga, man? Okay? It's no so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. How long you going to love to be a, a, a Latino or Latinx, what they're calling people now? Okay? You know, or uh, 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 African-American, Afro-Latino, okay? Native American, a nigga, a thug, a, a thought, a stripper. You know, how long are you going to love to be these things, man? It says, and <clears throat> like it, it says, in the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. How long are you going to hate knowledge, man? Okay? Because according to scriptures, only wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, or the time that we're living in. So how long are you going to hate the knowledge of the Heavenly Father? Okay? It says, <clears throat> it's like it. it says, turn you at my reproof. Okay, when you look up the word reproof, it goes into correction. Okay, matter of fact, let's get this definition real fast of the word reproof, what it actually means. Okay, it says uh, reproof. Let's see, get that. All right, this is reproof from the mid 14th century. It says a shame, a dis, uh, a dis, a disgrace. Okay, it says. A uh, censure, a rebuke. Okay, so turn you at the rebuke, the correction of the Lord. Okay, you know, that's for proof, man. Okay, you know, because the Lord is what trying to have, put some shame on you. Okay, which being shame faced is a great thing in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Shai. It means that you're humble. All right, so turn at the what? The reproof. You know, at your shame, you going off, you being a simple ass nigga in America, man. Okay, turn away from that. Okay. It says, uh, going back, it says, turn you at my reproof, behold, which means to look. Okay. It says, I will pour out my spirit unto you. What? So the Lord's pouring out, pouring out his spirit unto you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. What? Through his servants, the prophets that what teach this word. Okay, out there in the highways and byways, this is I will make known my words unto you. So the Lord's gonna make his words known unto you. What how do his servants, the prophets, 
The men of the Lord, man. The men of the Lord are teaching you these things, man. All right? But how long will you be a nigga, man? All right? And, and love the, the simpleness of this place, America, man, which is causes nothing but a people of death and destruction at the end of the day. It says... Um, it says verse 24, because I have called, yes, the Lord has called, you know, the Lord told you in lamest words to the men of the Lord to what turn back unto him. Okay. You know, and repent, you know, and turn back unto him and do better. All right. Follow the law, such commandments to the best of your ability, man. All right. Have faith in him. That was the call to come back. Okay. This is, and ye refused. He was like, nah, I'm good where I'm at. All right. You you uh, are uh, purposely uh, what they would call uh, saw the Lord calling on your phone and didn't want to answer or hung up right away. Okay, it says, "I have stretched out my my hand." Mean what the Lord's giving you help. Okay, because our people are in, in the dirt in the dust right now, confused as hell, don't know where to turn, left or right. Okay. It says, and no man regarded. it. So, see, the Lord threw his men out there on the highways and byways, pushing his word in our sincerity and truth. Guess what? The Lord stretching out his hand for mercy, man. All right? So you can receive mercy and live, but our people don't want to take heed to that. Okay? Our people just want to be so simple here in America and just live this simple life, man. All right? This is not all that life has to offer, man. Okay? All right? But our people uh, love this life so, man. Okay? It says... But ye have set at not on my counsel, okay? You, are, you you put not into thought all the counsel of the Lord, man, with all the advice the Lord is um, giving you through the Spirit to live, okay? Because the Scriptures say what? To, uh, if you believe in the Lord, you know, you're going to be established, you know, and to trust His prophets. prophets. Let's get that. This is Second Chronicles um, 20 and 20. And it reads, it says, it said Chronicles 20 and 20, it says, And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tokea. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat, which is another man of the Lord, okay, stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. What? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? You know, listen unto these words. It says, Believe in Yahweh, your power, your God. Okay, so believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh who the word and he calls God in Jesus Christ. All right, it says, So you shall be established. I mean, what being built up, being made stable. Okay, mentally. Okay, have the mental and spiritual uh, stability. Okay, it says, um. So you yeah, should be established. It says, believe his prophets. What? Believe his prophets, the men that he set up. Okay? That's constantly out there in season and out of season, preaching this word. It says, believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. Meaning what? If you believe in what the men, these men the Lord is saying, you're going to prosper, man. That that grace of Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to fall upon you when he starts destroying our people at a massive rate. Okay? All right? And so let's go back. Uh, Proverbs 1, I'm going to use that 25. Yeah, it says, but ye have set at naught all my counsel, none of what the advice from the Lord, from, from the men of the Lord, you know, it says what? And with none of my reproof, we didn't listen to none of the rebuke. That brothers were saying through the spirit and power, y'all by Shimon Shai. Okay, now right, you just want to do your own thing. It says, I will laugh, I will also laugh, Slaki. I also will laugh at your calamity. Mean what when all hell breaks loose and you're going through absolute holy hell? See, the Lord is gonna be laughing at you, man. Because why he told you so. All right, so the biggest I told you so is coming to this place in America, man. You know, it says, and will mock when your fear comes of kind. You're gonna, the Lord's gonna mock at you, and he's gonna do all this through his men. But he's going to do it in the heavens, too. Because why? You didn't want to hearken unto his words and you want to do your own thing, thinking you could save yourself out of death and destruction when that's not so. It says, it says, when your fear cometh as a desolation and destruction as a whirlwind 
and stress and anguish come upon you, mean what? The stress and anxiety come upon you, okay? And our people, especially our women, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American women, already have high levels of anxiety here in Babylon the Great. So the Lord's going to turn that up more because you don't want to turn back. That's what we say. Repent and turn back unto Yahweh Hashem Shai that you will be made mentally stable in that day, okay? Because anxiety is a show of mental instability, okay? It says, verse uh, 28, then shall they call upon me, me saying, Lord, Lord, please help me. You know, God, please help me to stand the third, you know. But guess what's going to happen? He says, but I will not answer. I Meaning what the Lord is not even going to hear you. The Lord doesn't give a damn what you're talking about, okay. That's why you didn't want to return unto him and put off the wickedness that you're doing, okay. It says, um, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early. And they shall not find me kind. You know, you got to be trying to seek the Lord daily, man. But when it's too late, it's too late. Okay. You know, that's why scripture say, make no tear and turn to the Lord. Because you don't know when the Lord can bring that judgment upon you. All right. Yahweh about Shemiah All right. It says, verse uh, 29 says, for they hated knowledge. So you hated the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh about Shemiah All right. So since you hated that and did what? And did not choose the fear of the Lord, you didn't choose to have the wisest thing on earth, man, which is the fear of the Lord. Okay, that is wisdom. Okay, you didn't want to uh, uh, dwell in that. Okay, and it says, They were none of my counsel, they despised me to hate all my reproof. So you hated being corrected, man. Okay, and when we tell them, brothers, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, tell you that you're going off, you need to stop eating shrimp, crab, pork, lobster, stop getting tattoos. Uh, you know, if you if you got a uh, if you're a man, you sleep with another man's wife. Stop that. If you're a woman, you step in on your husband. Stop that. You hated all the reproof. You know, it's telling you to stop being a hoe, stop being a nigga. You know, you hated all that, man. Okay. It says, therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. Meaning what? Everything that you've done, you're gonna what? Pay for the concept. You gotta pay for that. Everything you've done. Your actions. All right. You gotta have to suffer the consequences of your actions. Okay. It says, and be filled with their own devices for the turning away of the simple shall slay him. All right, well, you turned away from what, what the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, or that's going to kill you. It said, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. So, you know, our people are doing really well for themselves in America. They're doing pretty good, but they still won't seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai with the word and he calls God in Jesus Christ. All right, so guess what? It's going to be their death and destruction at the end of the day. You know, it says, but whoso hearken unto, hearkeneth unto me shall dwell in safety, shall dwell in safety, okay? All right, so if you hearken unto the words of y'all by Shema Shai, guess what? You're going to dwell in safety. Everything's going to be good for you, man, okay? It says, and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. I mean, what? No evil is going to touch thee, man, okay? Why? Because the angels... A camp around them that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So the Lord's going to have them angels of protection, them guardian angels around you, man. Okay, let's get that. This is a, this is a Psalms 34 and 7. It says, the angel of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai encampeth, which means to, to surround, okay, around about them that fear him and delivereth them. So Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, the word, he calls God in Jesus Christ. Right, it's gonna has the angels protecting those that fear him. But though remember, those that didn't want to choose the fear of the Lord, the Lord's gonna have all your all your wickedness, all right, backfire back on you, man. Okay? Alright, because he didn't want to repent and turn back to the Lord. But those that fear you, how about Shemal Shai and that are turning back, they're gonna dwell in safety and the angels are gonna protect them and deliver them out of all their troubles, man. Okay? You know? <laughs> so hey man, the Lord is has a good thing coming for, you know, for us. And these last days when death and destruction, you know, is ran, running rampant. But guess what? Those that don't want to turn back unto your help, Hashem Yahweh Shai, don't want to, you know, uh, receive the call that the Lord is uh, calling out for our people. Guess what? You're going to suffer the death and destruction of this. That's written in the scriptures. So hopefully this is edifying to the elected nation of Israel. Yes, we are done in the safety because we fear your help, Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? But those that don't want to fear the Lord and get themselves right, 
a hey, death and destruction unto you, man. Okay. So that, like, give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rokar Kadash, double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and tell me the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing the word in our righteousness and sincerity to the elect. Until next time, I say shalom.